Would you believe me if I said a mouse could lift an elephant? Not by magic, but with science. The mouse could do it with the help of a seesaw. A seesaw is a simple machine called a lever. A lever consists of a fulcrum, a place to put your load, and a place you apply effort. This is known as a class 1 lever. Class 1 lever is basically a lever with the fulcrum between the load and the effort. Between the fulcrum and the load is called the load arm, and between the fulcrum and the effort is called the effort arm. Suppose you and your friend are sitting on a seesaw. Suppose you're around the same weight and you're sitting the same distance away from the fulcrum. Then it would be evenly balanced. But if your friend is heavier, you can still balance it out by sitting further back. You can apply the same thing when you're lifting a heavy object. Suppose you have a really heavy box. You could use a lever to lift it. But to make it easier for yourself, you should make the effort arm longer. That way, it'll make it easier to lift the heavy box. This is called mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is basically the help you get from using the machine. Making it easier. So let's go back to the mouse problem. The mouse's effort would have to be the mouse's weight times the mouse's distance from the fulcrum. So the mouse's distance has to be greater than the elephant's weight times the elephant's distance divided by the mouse's weight, which uh, is how the mouse will be able to lift the elephant. Okay, well, let's suppose the uh, length of the load arm is one meter. Then it would have to be the mouse's distance have to be greater than the elephant's weight times one meter divided by the mouse's weight. Now what we need to do is find the weight of the elephant and the mouse. Okay, so weight weight of mouse. A house mouse would be 19 grams and an African pygmy mouse would be 3 to 12 grams. Let's go with the house mouse. Okay, now for the weight of the elephant. Come on. Seriously. Okay, so an Asian elephant is 5,400 kilograms, an African bush elephant is 6,000 kilograms, and an African forest elephant is 2,700 kilograms. Out of, all the, all, out of all the three, I think we should go with the Asian elephant. Okay, with all that done, we will be left with 5,400,000 grams times 1 meter divided by 19 grams, is e which is equal to 284,210.5 meters. So, if the elephant is sitting 1 meter away from the fulcrum, and the uh, and the mouse is sitting two two hundred and eighty four thousand two hundred ten point five meters away from the fulcrum. It would be able to carry the elephant, right? Wrong. Let me explain. If the mouse is sitting two hundred and eighty four thousand two hundred ten point five meters away from the fulcrum, then it would just balance out with the elephant. Remember the equation. Mouse's distance has to be greater than the elephant's weight times one meter. So it would have to be greater than 284,210.5 meters to be able to carry the elephant. So that's why you should never underestimate the power of the cow.